Hi guys, Andy Golf Mad Dad. This is for the new golfers down there. And this is 15 things that you might not have been told that could help you enjoy this fantastic game even more than you probably are already. Right, shall we go do it? Right guys, number one, just don't be nervous. So over the past 12 months of doing this YouTube channel, I've had quite a few messages from new golfers out there, which I really appreciate all the messages saying they're new to golf, they're a bit scared of getting out and going playing the full 18 hole golf course, which definitely can be a little daunting but what's really good now is there's that many facilities to bridge the gap so here at Tapton they now have the fantastic new Trackman upstairs they've got the indoor facility you've got your nine hole your short course at the academy course before you even try and venture onto the 18 hole golf course so there's a lot more options now before you venture onto the 18 hole which don't be afraid to do that either guys. We've all got to start somewhere, but if you want to build a bit of confidence first before going out on the 18 hole course, there's definitely a lot more options. So check out the track mans, check out the short courses, pitch and putts, anything just to get you out playing golf. But honestly, when you get out and you want to go play the 18 hole golf course, don't be scared guys, just get out there, go have some fun. Plus also when you do venture out on that course, don't be worried about mistakes. Golf's definitely a game of misses. Other golfers out there are going to be too, worried about their own golf game so don't think they're all looking at you and judging you so when you get out on that 18 hole golf course or whichever golf course you use just go have some fun so number one don't be nervous guys right guys so number two every shot counts out there oh. so when you're out on the course and you're over the shot just take your time over the shot if we have to mark the ball clean the ball just take your time over the ball always try and walk as fast as we can to the ball that's how i like to play but over the ball like to take my time these little costly shots soon add up over around so just remember every shot counts and also the boring old saying we just take it a shot at a time so try and play in the present whatever's gone before just forget about that. Give yourself 10, 20 seconds after you've hit the shot. Analyze that shot. If you know what you did wrong on there, put it away. Forget about it. Play one shot at a time. Stay in the present. Number two. Right, guys, number three is just basic golf etiquette. One, it will keep the greenkeepers really happy. Two, it will keep the members of the golf course happy. Stop any potential confrontations out on the course so you can relax a bit more. And three, it's just good golf etiquette just to keep the course in the condition that you found it and how you would want to play it also. So, so don't forget to rake those bunkers once you've been in there. Secondly, don't forget to repair your pitch marks, really important. Every golfer should have one of these in the bag, go buy one. If not, there's one on the Golf My Dad website, but repair the pitch marks. It will help the greens recover a lot, lot quicker, guys. And thirdly, always replace your divots. So if you're on the tee box, there's a little seed soil box next to you. Fill up those divots. Nobody likes to land in a divot on the fairway. Everybody wants that rule changed. So let's replace those divots also, guys. And fourthly, just speed of play. Play ready golf. If you're out with your friends, whoever's ready to go, we don't have to wait for the person to be the furthest away from the hole to go first. If you're ready, we can play ready golf. So speed of play. Play as quick as we can, but still enjoy it as well, guys. Right. right, guys, number four is golf fitness. So golf in the past has definitely had the image of being an unathletic sport. You don't have to be the fittest. There's definitely different shape and sizes, but I can promise you to play 18 holes. If you're walking, especially if you're carrying your clubs as well, you can be burning around 1,500 calories in a game of golf. Also, if you want to add speed to the game and golf is getting quicker and quicker, you've got to get as strong as you can. It will help minimize the chance of injury as we go chasing a little bit of golf speed out there. So if you're like me, you've got a desk job as well, which is my full-time job. I definitely now am 45, get a little bit stiff. I really have to warm up, warm down. If I don't do my warm up, definitely can't get in the positions I want to get into. And if I don't do the warm downs after, I'm definitely feeling it after the round and the next morning. So that's the importance of the warm up and the warm down. I've done videos before on how I do it. If you're starting out whatever your age, I know when you're younger, you get away with it a little bit more, but I promise you, if you just warm up for five minutes, if you haven't got access to a range where you can't hit any balls, one of the best purchases, one of the best purchases you could have is just one of these simple rubber bands. Lots of exercises, five minutes on here, 
Give yourself five minutes before we go out and play and I promise it will give you the better chance to play better golf. And after the round also, same again, a little bit of a warm down and we're going to give us the best chance to not be aching afterwards. So golf fitness is definitely, definitely very important, guys. Right, guys, number five is don't think you have to always play with 14 clubs. In fact, actually encourage to go out and play with less clubs from time to time. So obviously, if you're new to golf, you might just have a half set. I started out with just two free clubs back in the teenager years. But also with winter coming here in the UK, you might want to be carrying the big bag. So you might want a little pencil bag where you can just put a few clubs in there. But the benefit of using fewer clubs is it's going to make you hit different shots. So my standard might be here like a gap wedge, but I could try a little chippy nine iron. So you're actually learning to take spin off. You can be more creative, hit higher shots, hit little cuts, hit little draws. So without you really knowing, you're going to be ingraining different skills into the game. So we're not just hitting full out shots when we go out and play. So here, little knockdown nine iron, flight it down. That's a little cut, probably going about 125 on the GC3. It's gone pin eye there. Little cut. Normally, I would have hit a full gap wedge. So, guys, remember, don't need 14 clubs, and you'll actually become a better player by using less clubs, and your golfing IQ will definitely increase rapidly, guys. Mm. Right, guys, number six, just a quick one. If you're out playing, the course is busy, you're running up a higher score on the hole, just pick that ball up, guys. Move on to the next hole. You'll enjoy it a lot more. And also the guys around you will enjoy it also too and stop any confrontation. So just a little one, speed of play. Pick up that ball when it's not metal play, guys. Right. Right, guys, number seven, let's talk balls. So always mark your golf ball. One reason, it just makes it a lot easier to identify if you're out in the rough or if you're in a longer grass or even if there's just a few balls because shot penalties if you use the wrong ball by mistake. Also, if you're on the tee, in competitions, announce what ball you've got, what number, so there's no arguments when you're out on the course in the competition. Obviously, mark it how you want. So obviously, you might just do the darts, put a little smiley face on there, be positive. You might use the line to help with the pudding. This is what I use. All right, guys, so don't forget, go mark those balls. All right, guys, number eight, and again, just with a bit of speed of play, so if you've got groups behind you, they're a bit quicker. If you're in a four ball, there's a two ball behind you. If you get a chance, just let them go through. If your speed of play is okay, but they're going a lot quicker and you want to stay and relax and enjoy your game also, just let those guys through. Then they can continue and then, then you can also continue enjoying your game without having someone hit up behind you guys. Right, just let them through, guys. Right, guys, number nine. Probably worthwhile you're getting lessons. Get one from your local PGA pro. And there's plenty of tips out there online. I'm a self-taught golfer. And obviously when I, back in the day, when I was 16, 17, 18, starting a game, didn't have YouTube. There are obviously a lot of tips out there what might not help your game. So if you don't really understand the basics at all, I definitely recommend booking in with your local PGA pro just to learn the basics. And once you get a good understanding, as we said, there's plenty of tips online. Give my channel a little subscribe. There's plenty of tips on there also. So if you're very, very new to this game, definitely worthwhile just booking a lesson with your local PJ Pro guys. Yeah. All right, guys, number 10, don't be afraid to play with different people also. And also golfers of all different abilities. Don't be afraid to play with golfers who are better than yourself. Obviously, they might be playing a lot longer than you. But we've all started somewhere. So don't be afraid to play with better, different golfers. It's one of the best ways to learn. You'll see how other people go about plotting their way around the golf course, new short game techniques. Also, just a great way of meeting new friends that you might not have before, guys. So go play with some different people, guys. Right, guys, number 11 is try cheaper golf balls. I've done videos in the past comparing premium balls to the cheaper range, budget balls. Obviously, golfers of any ability, we're going to lose golf balls. Beginning golfers, we're probably going to lose a lot more golf balls. So there's no point buying the top end premium balls unless you've got the budget. If you want to go do that, no problem at all. But have a look at some of the lower end balls. I've done reviews 
on some of the lower end budget balls. Also with the cheaper balls as well, they actually help you to get the ball up in the air with the compression rates. Also off the tee, they actually go further than the premium balls because they reduce low spin. So off the tee with your irons, you'll actually gain a little bit of distance as well around the green, obviously from the premium to the cheaper end balls from one pound to two pound balls, you're gonna lose spin around the green. But for the price drop, when the prices are two, sometimes three, four times greater than the cheaper balls, honestly, there's some fantastic cheaper budget balls out there. So go check them out. There's some of my past videos, I've done reviews on those balls. So just try cheaper balls, save some money, use that money to probably go and book a lesson or just play more rounds of golf and have some more fun guys. Right guys, number 12 is just playing from the appropriate tees. So here in the UK, we predominantly have the whites, the yellows and the reds. A lot of the clubs are moving away from the old where the reds are the ladies tees. So let's play off, if, especially if you're new to golf, don't be afraid to move up to the red tees. Even if you've got some junior tees set out there, go move up there and you'll have a lot more fun. If you've seen Bryson's videos, he's been playing off the reds recently, just makes golf a lot more fun. Why punish yourself at the start, playing off the back tees or playing off the wrong tees while we're learning the game? We wanna be adding some speed, we wanna be adding distance, which will come as we get better at golf. So move up the tees and you might have more chance of getting on some par fours in two and having a lot more fun. Might even get a look at the odd little birdie putt. That'll play, right. Play the tees you wanna play, guys. <laughs> right, guys, so number 13 is stay nourished and stay hydrated. Obviously, round of golfs can take four hours, five hours. We can be out in the sun, hopefully. In terms of snacks when we're out on the course, ideally, you don't really want the big sugary snacks, which is gonna raise the insulin, give us sugar spikes. It's actually gonna to lead to a drop in energy once you've had that initial sugar spike. So things like nuts, little protein bars if you have to. But what I try to do is if I'm playing 18 holes, if you're in a competition, I really do my fueling two, three hours before I play. Again, I don't want anything too sugary before I start to play. I try to actually limit the caffeine as well, have a coffee before, but I really don't want the caffeine as I'm playing. Sometimes that can affect me personally. Sometimes I get a little bit stuttery, shaky if I have too much caffeine while I'm playing. So water is key. Really reduce those sugary snacks as you're playing and you will see a benefit from that, I promise. Nutrition, hydration before, during, and also after. Obviously we burnt 1500 calories. I know most of us like a little drink afterwards through from there. But the main thing as Cristiano Ronaldo would say is agua, agua, agua. Right guys, number 14, don't forget, we're gonna to have to do a little bit of practice as well. So if you've had a lesson or two at the start and you're new to golf, then it's time to go and practice what you've been doing in that lesson. Obviously you've got facilities now, like your track man, your driving ranges. If you're at a golf club, you've got short game facilities, whatever you're working on, we just gotta go and practice a little bit. We can practice a lot more efficient now with the track mans and the indoor facilities to get your numbers. Short game, we just come out and practice. Oh, go in. So the big things, especially at the start, if we can get confident off the tee, if we can improve around the green and inside a hundred yards, your golf game is definitely gonna get a lot better, a lot quicker. Again, on the channel, there's lots of tips on my short game. Got to go with short game tips. Really do enjoy the short game. So if you can, just dedicate a little bit of time during the week for a little bit of practice, whether that's one session a week at the driving range, Come do a bit of chipping and putting. Look at the spin, go in. Ooh. Or if you're like me, you've got family commitments, obviously work commitments, we're at the desk, so time is limited. One of the most efficient ways we can practice is just by doing basic body drills. We haven't got time to be hitting a thousand balls, but if we're at home, if we're out in the gym, we can just be practicing the body drills as long as you know the correct body drills. So that's where it's important to get the lesson, to learn the basics. But then when we're out, we can be using body drills. So when I'm at home, a lot of the times we're trying to ingrain correct 
patterns. The dangerous thing is if we're ingraining patterns what aren't correct. So again, make sure you've got your fundamentals right. You go for that lesson, get the basics, and then you can really start with your body drills, get into the positions, get your body used to going where it needs to go. If we can do that a hundred times a day when you're free, it's a lot more time efficient than having to go to the range, hit hundred balls every day. Plus there's a cost factor involved in that as well. So body drills, as long as we're doing the correct body drills, have a look in the mirror. If you're home, check in a mirror, check your form, do those body drills. Fantastic way to practice guys. So practice, practice, practice. Right guys, last one and number 15 is just be social at the golf club. So if you're new to golf, you're coming down to a golf club for the first time, don't be afraid to go into the clubhouse. I promise the vast majority of golf clubs now have got rid of the old stigma, the old stuffiness, all really, really welcoming. I know here at Tapton and the other clubs I'm based at, at Sherland, at Bondi, all really, really welcoming. Great way to meet friends, meet new people. So if you join the club for the first time, they'll be running competitions, in-house competitions. A great way, again, to get competitive, to get better quicker, but again, just to meet some good friends and make good memories out on that golf course. So if you're new to golf, don't be afraid to head into those clubhouses. I promise the majority of courses have changed their outlook. So get involved guys and you'll meet a whole lot of nice new people. Right guys, hope you enjoyed that fun little video there for the new golfers out there. Again, keep your comments coming into me, really appreciate them. If you're new to golf, you're enjoying the channel, you're learning lots of things, you realize golf is a whole lot of fun. It's a lot more inclusive than what it used to be. That's for sure. The main thing, you have some fun on the course and if the other people are out there having fun as well, we all get along and have a fantastic day out on the golf course. I'm all about growing the game, getting younger people into golf. Of my little boy, he's showing signs. He's really enjoying it, so it's really nice to see. So with facilities like what's been built here at Tapton, with the Trackman, what I've noticed over the first two weeks of it being launched is the number of families, the number of 20 year olds, teenagers, coming down, getting into golf. So that's just fantastic to see. And definitely they're the future of the golf, that is for sure, so we don't want to put them off. So the main thing, guys, there's so many opportunities to get into golf now, different avenues. You don't have to go straight to the 18-hole golf courses. You've got the nine-holers, the trackmans, the indoor simulators, pitch and put, so many ways to get into golf, whatever age, whatever ability. We just have a whole lot of fun. And if you're new to golf, then welcome and welcome to a lifetime of addiction and probably a lot less money in the pocket. Right, hope you enjoyed that guys. Till next time, enjoy.